Mark the Mentor here, and I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and also hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I want to talk about the rising diesel prices. At the time of recording this video, diesel's national average is $5.64 a gallon. I want to talk about that and how it's putting pressure on small trucking companies, small independent owner operators. I came across an article um, that referenced a Facebook post that went viral from a trucker who basically went to Facebook to um, discuss his feelings um, dealing with what he's, you know, what he's dealing with, I should say, um, due to the current um, fuel crisis that we're having here in America. The, the post went viral. I'm going to I'm going to post a post uh, here now. However, he's an owner operator, owns three trucks. He made this post a few days ago and it's going viral. Now it's hitting the media circuit. So let's let's read through it real quick. I need to get something off my chest. I generally refrain from talking politics and especially making political posts. However, I need to say this. What I'm going to post is real. Not somebody not somebody that's a friend, cousin, sister, neighbor has happening to them. I own a small trucking company, and this is what the fuel crisis is doing to our country. So this directly affects me, you, our children, our country. Today, I filled up my truck to deliver products that help keep our country fed. When I filled up my truck, it cost me $1,149.50. This is one truck for one day of fuel. I own three. So for one day of operation, it's costing me $3,448.50. Yes, we use a full tank of fuel every single day, sometimes more than one tank per day. My trucks generally run five to six days a week, so we just estimate on the low side and say five. That's $17,242.50. Last week was over 20K for one week that I have to pay out of my pocket to try and keep not only my children fed, but those of my employees in our country. Mark my words, we are on a downhill slide to the worst recession our country has ever seen. If you don't believe me, I implore you to do your research. Trucking companies are going under left and right, which is true. Literally hundreds weekly, which is true. If you're not aware what you're wearing, what you're eating, what you're living in, what you're driving, what you're reading, this on was delivered by a truck, which is true. If something drastic doesn't change in the next few weeks, months, I promise you, you'll see empty shelves everywhere you look, which we're starting to see now. You'll see chaos as people fight for the basic necessities of everyday life, food, medicine, etc. If something doesn't change, I pray that all of you have the ability, uh, knowledge, and skill to fend for yourselves, not only against those who would do you or your family harm, but to be able to find sustainable food and water. This is scary. This is a scary time, not only for small business owners, but for every single American. So please, please do research when we vote for those who place in power. This isn't just on the federal level, but on the state level as well. We have we have got to start making informed decisions based on fact, not because the media says we should like dislike somebody. Truck drivers are out here going for broke, holding on to something we know this country needs. So if you know a truck driver, please tell them to hold on as long as they can. Our country won't survive without them. And then he just did an update. Um, and then you got a bunch of... Um, He's got 42,000 comments, 264,000 shares on this post, 44,000 likes. So I'm going to scroll back up. And um, basically what he's saying, you know, is true. There are a lot of truck companies that are going out of business weekly. And, you know, the term shit rolls downhill. So the smaller companies are the ones that are getting hit. First, obviously, they don't have the working capital like some of the larger companies to sustain and kind of fight through this crisis. Now, I do a lot of videos on um, like the current state of like the box truck industry. And I talk a lot about, you know, the guys that got into the box truck industry last year and 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 and. And like the you like people on YouTube, how they make it seem like it's it's so sweet. And I think a lot of those people bought into that. Um, I like to I like to show 
you know, um, um, I like to have sources and things. I mean, I know this stuff because I've been I've been in the game for a while. But let's take a look at this article. Give me a second here. This was last month. Um, this is a Routers article. U.S. trucking downturn puts pressure on independent oil operators. Sim similar story, but here's something that's key that I always talk about. A continued decline in on-demand trucking prices risks squeezing out tens of thousands of small operator-owned trucking companies that rushed into the market when rates were surging earlier this year, specifically last year. Uber Technologies um, head of freight said surging diesel fuel costs and a leveling of U.S. consumer demand meant many owner operator truckers would have to exit the industry if prices dropped by 10 to 20 percent. Leo Ron, head of Uber Freight, said in an interview. So let's let's dissect that that Facebook post really, really quick. I want to try to keep this video short. I'm going to try to even keep it under 10 minutes. What I got out of that post was a small owner operator, such as myself and such like such as you guys that are going to be watching this video, or that are watching this video, that's crying out for help. Like, when is enough going to be enough? The price is high and it's going to continue to go up. There's no signs of it going back the other way. It's going to continue to go up. Um, the more fuel we send over to help Europe, because Russia was their main supplier, and you know no one's fucking with Russia right now. Um, um, that's less fuel that we have to supply our own, you know, our own trucks, our own fuel stations. Um, and if fuel continues to rise, the problems that we're seeing now are just going to be amplified. So with the shit rolling downhill. The smaller companies are going to fill it first, you know, the small independent owner operators, the big guys can sustain longer because they have, they have the working capital. They have the working capital too. Um, certain trucking companies, the big, big boys are just too big to fail. You know what I'm saying? So the shit rolls downhill. The small guys fill it first. The guys that I think are filling it now are the guys that got in early this year and last year. They jumped into the trucking industry at the beginning of a shit storm and they didn't even see it coming because they fed into all the hoopla, you know, uh, 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 about oh, the, the rates are high, the rates are high, yeah, the rates were high for a reason. It's just like how the stock market was in 2020. You know, those were inflated prices. The prices that, that, you, that we saw earlier this year and late last year, those were inflated prices. So how can we fix this problem? I think the, the, the solution is easy. You know, some people are going to agree with it. Some people are going to disagree with it. We have the resources here, you know, but we're sharing our resources um, due to what's going on and uh, with going on with Russia and, and Ukraine. So, you know, our president thinks it's in our best interest to share and send, uh, and don't quote me, I think it's 50% of whatever we're producing oil over to, I know we're sending it to Europe because I believe Russia was Europe's main um, supplier. And 50% of the cars over in Europe run on diesel. So I know Russia was their main supplier. Um, so because no one is fucking with Russia, you know what I'm saying? Um, our president is, is is helping to supply other countries that that depended on Russia as their main source for fuel. So obviously, you guys see where I'm going with this. You know, we can actually keep our fuel uh, to ourselves, and it will kind of help alleviate some of what we're going through. Um, it, it's kind of like, a, um, you know, you, you want to do the right thing and help other people, but to what extent, you know? So, you know, we're paying higher gas prices. We're dealing with supply chain issues. We got all this going on here. Some of it, you know, doesn't have to do with the Russia-Ukraine thing. 
Some of it does, uh, but if we can alleviate some of the burdens that we have upon us by taking care of ourselves first, then, you know, what do you do? You know, I, I don't want to even continue the video because I don't want to get political, you know, so I'm just going to end it here. I'm curious to see what people say down in the comments. Guys, leave comments. This is a good topic, a good discussion. Obviously, I'm probably going to do more videos on this as fuel prices continue to rise. So leave comments below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, also hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. And I'm out. True story, new story, two story, condo, B&B, four